Good morning, everyone. This is Elsie Kearns, your Chaos to Clarity coach and energy medicine expert. And this morning, I have the pleasure of talking to Lisa Roche, and she is a Guy Rontonic instructor. She is certified in this unusual method that helps people with you know, recovering from injuries or just to strengthen you. She works a lot with athletes and dancers and I have experienced the work. So I'm hoping that Lisa can give you a broader understanding of this fabulous method that really is very different than yoga, Pilates. So Lisa, tell us what Gyrontonics actually is. Well, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> The gyrotonic method, it's a movement method um, that is really meant to strengthen and stretch the body with every single exercise. So while you may think we're working on arms, we're actually working the entire body the entire time. So uh, at the root of the exercise, um, we aim to get to your spine. A healthy spine is a healthy body. So if we can get the spine to actually um, open up and move freely, the entire body then follows suit. Now, you mentioned Pilates and yoga. It's very similar. Um, it's in the same wheelhouse as um, other holistic exercises. I would say the main differences are for, with Pilates. Pilates is very linear. And um, what we're doing is trying to find the circle in each movement. So there really is no beginning, no end to any movement. It, we find the connective motion between any kind of um, movement. Now, with that said, that's how we differ from yoga. Yoga is very much find a pose and hold it and try and make that pose as big as you possibly can make it. For us, we'll get to that pose, make it really big, and then connect it into the very next um, pose, if you want to call it that. So we're looking for circles. We're looking for um, figure eights in every motion. Um, but with that said, it's it's got the same effect. It's very meditative. It's very holistic. It's very healing. Um, so when you come in, you'll find similarities with swimming and dancing and Tai Chi and Pilates and yoga and really a whole lot of movement that maybe you haven't experienced since you were a very little kid who was very free twirling around somewhere. Great. So Lisa, when you were just describing that, you know, endless circle. Can you stand up a little bit because you have your logo oh. on your shirt. There it is. And it is the figure eight with the name of the studio, Nagari. And um, I found this very interesting work, very different. And it made me feel very strong and grounded after we did that session. But I don't think a lot of people know about this. So you have a private studio. Tell us where uh, you actually work. So yes, I have a private studio in Haddonfield, New Jersey. Um, I am by appointment only. So yeah. I and I do that purposefully so people don't walk in. Um, gyrotonic, the gyrotonic method is it's an experience more than a workout, right? Which I know that that you've actually been through that. So for me, it's it's a, it kind of a spiritual journey. So I don't want people just walking in on someone when they when they're in the middle of whatever opening and balancing that's happening in their body. Um, but yes, I am in Haddonfield and I am by appointment only. And I offer private sessions and duets and small groups. So most people come in for a private session. Typically someone comes in with an injury that they would like to heal in some way. Traditional PT hasn't worked and they're frustrated or they've had something for years and they're not quite sure how to heal it correctly um, or adequately and so to that effect, they come in and it's very specialized. It's very individualized. 
I'll figure out what your body needs and then work with you to get whatever balance we can get out of your body. With that said, I know that it's very different and people aren't comfortable always coming in and seeing the, the machine and how, and how to work with it. So they wanna come in maybe with a partner, takes the pressure off a little bit. Um, so I do work with duets. Uh, and then there are, there's also something very special about a small group. And while I'm a small studio, so I don't have a whole lot of space, I try to keep it to four people and under. And that's for more like teammates who want to work on something specific together. And they all wanna benefit from the exact same training. And so I'll work with small groups as well, but I would say the majority is is one on one private sessions. So, Lisa, where did you take your training? Where did I take my training? Yes, where is that? How did that all come about? <laughs> something brand new that I didn't know about till I met you. Right. So, um, I was I was doing Pilates and taking a um, an adult ballet class. Um, for anybody who knows me, they know that I am not a naturally graceful person. Growing up, uh, I was asked to leave gymnastics. I tried dance. <laughs> I settled in swimming because I couldn't hurt myself. <laughs> um, but, I, I, our youngest went off to school full time and I found myself not really knowing how to fill my days. So I decided to try Pilates and an adult dancing class and I hurt myself. I wound up with a back injury that was debilitating. And my Pilates instructor said, listen, I have this machine. It's in the back room. Um, not a whole lot of people participate in this, but we could get your back open. We can get you feeling better. And then you could come right back to Pilates. So I, I did it. I was in so much pain that I thought, you know, whatever, I'll do whatever to stop the pain. And sure enough, she showed me the machine and it was very overwhelming, but I did it. <laughs> and my back felt so much better with just a little bit of traction and a couple of exercises. I, I felt so much better within a half an hour. So I never looked back. I started gyrotonic sessions, private sessions, a half an hour. And then after a couple of years, I was, I was asked if I would become a trainer. So I started that process. And I took all of my pre-training and certification programs up in New York. And that was, I'd say a year and a half worth of training and then my final training my final certification was in uh Munsterall, germany i took my family with me as a family experience they supported me so much and i did my final certification there and i've been teaching ever since well it certainly is wonderful work it helped my knee injury and you can see exactly where the weakness was when we began to work. So it was quite incredible. And again, it felt like I was finally balancing that left and right. Yeah. Tell me about some of the other athletes. I think you've worked with people in rowing and. Yeah, so I've worked with runners, marathoners, swimmers, rowers. Um, tennis players, <laughs> golfers. So it's really good for any person and any type of body. Um, I, I have been blessed with a good set of eyes and a good um, sense of intuition and feeling for what a certain body needs. And I'm always looking for balance. I'm really glad that you said that, the left to right balance. Um, I'm always looking to help a person balance, find the balance in their body. If it's left to right, front to back, 360, we're always shooting for 360. Um, so a session really depends on what you would need, right? On what is going on with your body. So you in particular, you were a knee. <laughs> yeah. 
So how do we how do we get that knee to connect back up to the rest of your body and balance out with the opposite knee? That's really what we're looking for. The other thing I like is that you gave us gave me exercises that I could do at home that were you know simple and easy to follow up with and continue that strength. And then you were able to take things to the next level. Yeah. Uh, you know when we got to the next session so it just has a nice rhythm about it oh yes homework <laughs> yeah <laughs> homework is so important and i'm blessed with clients that do their homework um homework is minimal as you as you know i try to give very little to keep the body open so in a session we'll open your body to a certain point and where it can accept new information and it can accept some healing to a certain extent. And then your homework is meant to keep it in that place. Um, there are a few where I'll give you a little bit more if you feel like you can take it a little bit farther so that when you come in the next week, we can hit the ground running and pick up where you left off. Mm -hmm. Well, even working with the machine, you know, the way that we initially met and did some of the easy exercises just from the chair yes. and then moved to that. And it, it was just amazing to see how quickly the body could adjust and, and move. And you could actually, I could feel myself where the weaknesses were and where I needed to gain more strength. So just I'm not a big body person I'm uh, more up in my head but it really brought me into my body and the sensation yeah. of exactly what and where needed to be strengthened isn't that so wonderful um the machine is I mean to come in and to look at it to see it for the first time it's a little intimidating and I I've experienced that I totally understand it but if you can have you know five seconds of courage where you just go and you sit down and you get moving you'll find that the machine is really there to support you every aspect of it is really there to support your body to free it to be able to move as smoothly and as tension free as possible that's i i think the biggest benefit to working with the gyrotonic tower as opposed to keeping things on a stool or taking it to the floor. I, you know, I, I absolutely, I start everybody off on a stool so that you can learn some very basic movements and take that home and be able to do those. But I think it's so important to integrate that onto, onto the machine so that you can really feel what your body can do. And when you're not, um, when you're not necessarily fighting against gravity, you actually can come home in your own body and start feeling what it should be able to do. You might not be able to do that on the ground. You know, when you lay down and I take weight off your legs so that your legs can move freely, of course you can't do that same big movement when you're not strapped in, but just to know that your body can do that, can go there, makes you feel more home, makes you feel more confident. So I do want to say hello to some of the ladies that have joined us, Denise and Kathleen and Ramona's with us. And I know you're, Annie, hi, finding this interesting and fascinating. And I realized, Lisa, that the actual link for your website is incorrect. I'm going to correct that when we finish our interview and go on. Um, uh, Facebook and fix that. So it's www.nagari, N A G A R E, studio, private, sorry, private studio.com. Yeah. Yes. So we just had a few technical glitches this morning. <laughs> it all worked out in time. I don't know what I'm doing. When it comes to technology, I'm challenged. <laughs> But it we're all worked out. It worked out. So, you know, I'll I'll make that correction. How about age? Um, oh. it, I mean, I know you pe work with people of, of all ages. Would you talk about that for a moment? Absolutely, I do. I work with 
I mean, we're talking youngest from nine up to 80, 90. I mean, I, I love that this is something that literally anyone can do. The uh, machine is completely adaptable so that I can change settings to make it as small as we need it to be or to open it up for my six foot four, six foot five people who come in <laughs> to make it as big as it needs to be. It's as gentle as your body needs it to be or it's as challenging as your body needs it to be. That's what's so fantastic about the equipment. Um, it's really there to support you and you in any definition of the word. So if you are just recovering from surgery, we can help you get through that and then get you, get you onto a healthier way of, of living. Or if you are, you know, a top level athlete, we can keep you competitive and give you a little bit of an edge. A little bit. <laughs> Well, I think, again, you initially talked about finding that endless circle. Mm. And that is just gave a whole different freedom uh, to the body. And, of course, we all know that that DNA right at the base of that is that figure eight. So it's really something that can't help but enhance the body, mind, and spirit in all ways. Exactly. Um, I think because by the very nature of every single movement is trying to find that spiral, trying to find that natural rhythm in your body, shooting for a, um, shooting for an elliptical, shooting for a circle, shooting for the infinity, that figure eight speaks literally to yourselves, your structural makeup, your DNA is the exact same shape. So what you may think is really difficult actually is very soothing. So people leave feeling like they've, um, they've been to a massage or a chiropractor or some kind of therapeutic um, treatment. <laughs> mm -hmm. And in reality, you have, it's, the only difference is you gave it to yourself. How mm -hmm. fantastic. You know, I just, I teach you, I'll guide you, but it's something that you wind up um, taking hold of inside yourself so that you can go home and tap into that whenever you need to. That was my experience because you're actually guiding the individual, but the body is, is doing the work and yeah. it really does give you a whole different sense of your body from the minute we start till the minute we end and you really want to keep that feeling and not not let it go yeah and then, you mentioned that that work helps us at, with the machine and stuff that we did be not being held back by gravity makes it so different right right mm -hmm. and you and you're able to put things back to where they need to be so bones can slide to where they need to slide and tissue lets go and the fascia lets go to a point where everything gets to rewrite so that when you take it to the street and you go walking or you're stepping out of your car and you hit the curb incorrectly, you're able to adapt very quickly and not get injured. Mm -hmm. I, I'd say the first time I experienced that, um, there was a sheet of ice on the walkway one winter and I stepped out, I never saw it, I stepped out, and instead of falling, instead of the body tensing up and falling and injuring, I eased and slid, and I was bewildered. Now you're talking about a person who has a very difficult time drinking and walking at the same time, let alone hitting ice and being able to stay balanced, and that was literally my body doing whatever it needed to do to be um, fluid, and functioning and free of any kind of tension. Hmm. Fluid and free of tension. Wow. That's that is a goal for everyone. How yeah. lucky it would be to live like that versus how we're holding ourselves all the time uh, against life. 
Well, that's just it, right? So I have um, my motto in here is find your flow. Nagare is Japanese for the flow of water. Um, like I said, I grew up swimming my whole life. So water is really super important to me. And my, my goal is to just help people find their flow. I think that's so important. When you can find the ease in your life, it changes absolutely everything. So while you come in here and we may be starting under the guise of finding the ease in your own body, what it translates into is finding the ease into, in your entire life, really. Mm -hmm. So give us your website and phone number and how people can reach you again, Lisa. Sure. So my website is www.nagareprivatestudio.com. And my phone number, if you want to reach out, uh, have any questions, is 609-929-4421. Great. Well, it was certainly wonderful to hear you describe Guy Rontonics because I didn't know where to actually start, even though I've experienced it. But it has such application for so many people in so many different fields, whether they're athletes or just as you said, recovering from an injury or, you know, want to build their ability and their particular sports profession, whatever it is. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's my pleasure to share this with as many people as I possibly can. So thank you. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Oh, you're welcome. So thanks everyone for joining us again, Denise, Kathleen, Anne, and Ramona, and some others. And I'm going to go in and, and also uh, put this on a couple of other sites so people can see it this morning. And if you have any questions, you know how to get in touch with Lisa and I will correct that uh, website on Facebook as well. So Lisa, it's been a pleasure to talk to you. I'm glad we got all the glitches in flow with the figure eight today. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you in 2019. So if you need something different in your life, or if like me, you're just older and need to find better balance for everyday living of here is a wonderful way to do that. That's also very gentle on the body and anybody of any age can learn how to do it that's for sure yeah okay talk to everybody again in 2019 this is elsie kearns your chaos to clarity coach energy medicine expert signing off for this sunday thanks lisa thank you